Welcome back to another NBA video, and with a loss tonight to the Milwaukee Bucks, the Brooklyn Nets are not off to the start they hoped for in the Ben Simmons era with KD and Kyrie, as they are now 1-3 on the season, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about what's wrong with the Nets. Now, it's very early in the season, so first of all, I'm going to say I don't think this means their season's over, or they're not going to be a real playoff contender and a team that can win in the playoffs, because I don't think that's true. Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving are the star star power that you need and then from there you could build around them and if you're looking at the one and three they possibly have had the hardest start to the season in the league as night one they played the pelicans then they got a win over the raptors but then they lost on the road to the grizzlies in the box so they have not had a walk of a park schedule at all and they're going to be playing the dallas mavericks tomorrow night so tough turnaround for that so they've just got a tough schedule to start the year but do i think the nets are in trouble long term no I don't. I think they can figure it out, but if we're talking about them in the top category of the Eastern Conference, I don't think I can put them in that upper echelon of the Eastern Conference now. I do think there, there's teams in that conference that are significantly better than them. Teams like the Bucks. I don't know if I'd put the 76ers there because the 76ers aren't off to a hot start of the season. I say you could put the Celtics ahead of them too because they swept them last year, and until they can prove to beat them, I think they're in a different tier than them. But the big storyline so far this season has been Ben Simmons. As Ben Simmons, he has gotten off to a very slow start to say the least. His line has him averaging 5.7 points a game with 6 rebounds per game and a couple assists as well. 7 assists per game, so that's a bright spot. But what's not a bright spot is he basically fouls out of every game. The foul trouble has been a huge problem for Ben Simmons this year. He's always deep foul trouble early in games, so that's not going to help him. And then it still looks like he's very hesitant to score. There was a video of Kyrie Irving yelling, shoot at Ben when Ben Simmons had a pass from Kyrie Irving and it's looking like he's not even looking to score. He can be in the paint and his first thought will be to look outside to the three-point line or look for one of the other four players on the court. He has no interest in scoring, which is very weird to see from an all-star player. There's really nothing like it in the league besides Ben Simmons right now, but as far as this team goes, Ben Simmons, he will have time to adapt. Kyrie Irving said post game he's barely played in the last two years so it's gonna take some time to adjust and I agree that could be true 82 game season a lot can change when Ben Simmons is back in the flow of things and lets his athleticism show that I think he can be great he can attack the rim he could be a very good playmaker and obviously a lockdown defender as well and that could fit perfectly with two ball dominant scores in Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving Kevin Durant he's been lighting it up to start the season averaging 32 points a game Kyrie he's averaging 27. The supporting cast, Nick Claxton, Patty Mills, Royce O'Neal, Joe Harris, he'll have to get going still. There's some solid pieces there, but if they're the make a run, I do think they'll have to bolster their roster with something at the trade deadline. Who knows what that might be. But as far as the Brooklyn Nets, they're one and three. I'm not overly concerned. I still view them in a similar way that I did at the start of the season. I do think there's teams like the Celtics and the Bucks that are definitely at a higher tier than them, but I do think they're going to be able to compete, and I do think this Ben Simmons situation will get better. Let me know your thoughts on the Nets' slow start.